Welcome to my video. Today we will be dealing with the punishments of Indian Penal Code. Punishment is a retribution on the offender to the suffering in person or property which is inflicted by the offender. Punishment is the way through which an offender can be stopped from doing offences against person, property and government. Therefore, punishments can be of various types like deterrent, rehabilitative, restorative and retributive. Section 53 to Section 75 of Indian Penal Code deals with punishments. Section 53 deals with five kinds of punishments that are as follows. First, death. Second, imprisonment for life. Third, imprisonment which is of two descriptions namely, A. Rigorous that is with hard labor. B. Simple. Fourth, for feature of property. And fifth, fine. The death sentence means that it is a punishment which is sanctioned by the government and ordered by the court where a person is put to death for a crime acted by him. It is also referred to as capital punishment. The act of carrying out such practice is called execution. In India, the death penalty is given by the method of hanging. Death sentence may be awarded for offences under Section 121, 132, 194, 195A, 302, 305, 307, 364A and 396 of the Code. The death penalty as a punishment is an exception to certain persons like intellectually disabled, pregnant women and minors. In Bachchan Singh v. State of Punjab, the Supreme Court held that the capital punishment shall be given in the rarest of the rare case. Next, we have imprisonment of life. The word imprisonment for life was substituted for transportation for life in this, in this provision. Life imprisonment means a sentence of imprisonment running throughout the remaining period of a convict's natural life till death. But in practice, it is not so. According to Section 55 of Indian Penal Code, in every case in which sentence of imprisonment for life shall be been passed, the appropriate government may, without the consent of the offender, commute the punishment for imprisonment of either description for a term not exceeding 14 years. Imprisonment for life may be awarded under Sections. 121, 121A, 122, 124A, 125, 125A, 130, 131, 131, 141, 141A, 122, 124A, 122, 124A, 122A, 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 an offender is punishable with simple in imprisonment for committing an offence under any of the sections 168, 169, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 178, 179, 180, 187, 188, 223, 225A, 228, 291, 341, 500, 501, 502, 509, and 510 of Indian Penal Code. Now, we'll talk about forfeiture of property. Forfeiture generally means the loss of property without any compensation in return, which is the result of the default caused by the person in terms of contractual obligation or in paying penalty for illegal conduct. 
the the indian penal code provides the punishment of for feature of specific property for offenses under sections 126 127 169 and 263 a of the code lastly we'll talk about fine the courts may impose fine as sole imprints or sole imprisonment or alternative or it may be imposed in addition to the imprisonment the indian penal code 1860 prescribes fine along with imprisonment in respect of certain offenses in default of fine imprisonment may be imposed that's all for this section i hope you enjoyed my video thank you for your time